Hello everyone, Toby here. Welcome back to the Football Collectibles channel. And we are back once again with another Panini Adrenaline XL Premier League 2024 binder update. And today we're going to be showing you how we got on since we last gave you a binder update. I know you guys love a binder update. You love to see how my collection is going. So I thought, you know what, let's give you another one and uh, show you what progress we've made since you last saw the album. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. <laughs> Here we are then, we've got our Adrenaline XL binder, and of course, there is our front cover with Bruno Guimaraes, Oli Watkins, Bakayo Saka, Jack Grealish and Alejandro Garnacho on the front, 2024 across there too, and the turquoise and blue and green front cover. So if you've excited this video and you've enjoyed seeing Adrenaline XL on the channel, smash that like button, it always helps. And of course, um, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Adrenaline, um, subscribe and that way you'll never miss an upload please subscribe um it'd be really really good to see if we can hit 8k before we get to the end of the year so yeah that's our target please subscribe to help us do it and i know a lot of you that watch aren't so get subscribing but here we are then let's show you inside and you will notice big progress from last time by the way if you're wondering where i get the checklists from i get these every year from the free binder that panini tend to do in tesco i think i explained it in my previous update but i always like to put a checklist on the inside cover and the rear cover because to me that that seems most appropriate um compared to to other things but you'll see big progress here and uh we have done some swapping with our good friend gbw to get our golden ballers complete so we've got saka watkins Eze, Gakpo, the Invincible there, and Haaland, Rashford, Isaac, and Bentancur. We didn't have the Invincible Haaland or Eze, but uh, we did some swapping with GBW. We gave him a couple that he needed in return for a few that we needed, and it, it's helped massively. It really, really has uh, to complete our Golden Ballers and get that incredibly rare Invincible card. I know it's the one that everybody wants, and uh, we have managed to get it, which is fantastic. So there we go. Then we move on to Bournemouth, which I think before was complete, but there we go. Because each team has a badge, a lineup, and 16 base cards. And as you can see, Bournemouth is complete. But then we move on to Arsenal. And again, they are complete. Um, the cards I think I found the most hard to, to come by. Gabriel Magalhaes uh, being one. I know Philip Billing, I think, was one for Bournemouth as well in terms of the base cards. There's the second half of Arsenal there, including uh, Martin Erdegaard. Got Aston Villa. One of the few cards I needed was Tyrone Mings, which again, you wouldn't have seen on the channel last time, I believe. Um, yep, I managed to swap uh, with GBW for him. What did I pack him? I can't remember. It might have been a swap, that one. But uh, there we go. The second half of Aston Villa there. Brentford, one of the first teams I completed. And they're all complete, as you can see, of course, minus any Ivan Tony cards. Um, will that be different come plus? We will have to, uh, yeah, wait and see. But there is, uh, there is Brentford. Premier League stickers, that would be an interesting one as well. We've got Brighton there, including uh, Purvis Estupinian. And uh, there's a second half of Brighton, including Evan Ferguson. Again, I completed them fairly early on. We've got Burnley here. I think uh, Jordan Bayer was one of the final cards I was waiting for for Burnley. But we got all of Burnley there, as you can see. Uh, we then got Chelsea again. Didn't find too many Chelsea. Some of those were hard to come by. I believe Kepa Az Aris de Balaga, I've only found once all collection. And then we've got the second half of Chelsea there too. Crystal Palace were fairly easy to complete, I found, this year. Uh, we've got all of Palace there, as you can see, first half and uh, second half. And we then move on to Everton. Again, I think, um, who was particularly difficult? Mason Holgate was very difficult to find for me this year, but we, we got him and Everton are complete. We then got all of Fulham there too, which look very good. Again, they were fairly, fairly straightforward. Liverpool. I've only packed Alexis McAllister once. Everyone else I've packed multiple times. But McAllister is who we're waiting on for Liverpool. But everyone else we have got a couple of times. But there we go. There is Liverpool. Luton Town, as you can see, uh, again, completed fairly easily. I think Alfie Doherty I've only packed once. But everyone else I've packed multiple times there, which is good. Manchester City I, I completed fairly early on, again, which was great. So there we are. There we are. There are Man City. Manchester United, I was missing Lisandro Martinez for quite a while, but I've, I've packed him now. He might have been in the previous binder update, I can't remember. But then we got the second half of United there too. We then got Newcastle United there too, which looks fantastic. Again, they were fairly straightforward to complete. Because there's a lot of cards in the preview 
um, I'll kick off multi packs, I should say. Nottingham Forest, uh, I believe it was Willy Bolly that I was missing for quite a while there, but we got him now. There we are. There is Nottingham Forest looking great. Ryan Yates, I was missing for a little bit as well. Sheffield United, I've completed, and I think I managed to get all the cards multiple times for Sheffield United, so there they are. Tottenham Hotspur, uh, Eric Dyer and Harry Kane, I was missing for quite a while, but again, managed to get those. I think you saw them in the last video too. I'm pretty sure I packed them in one of my 100 pack videos that I did. West Ham United are there, so there we go. And finally, before we get on to our special inserts, we've got Wolves again, who we completed fairly, uh, fairly easily, Wolves. But there we are, there is Wolves. Then we've got all six top keepers and all three aerial ace cards. They look great, I have to say. We then got all nine precisions right there. Uh, again, these were fairly straightforward to find. All nine powerhouses uh, there, which, uh, yeah, look pretty good, has to be said. We have then got all nine Colossus. I've only packed some of these once. Osho, Rodri. I think Rodri I had to swap with GBW for. I'm pretty sure we didn't get Rodri um, from packs. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, Rodri, Osho are two that I've only packed once. And Enzo Fernandez, I think I've only packed once as well. But all the others I've got uh, multiple times. We then got our Fire and Ice cards. There, as you can see, again, fairly straightforward to, to, to get the old Fire and Ice. We then got the Playmakers. Again, they were fairly straightforward to find. We then got the Adrenaline Rush, which was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, Marcos Senesi was a bit of a challenge, but we've we've got all of those now. And we've got all the future stars at the top there too, including Enciso, Lewis and San, uh, Garnacho. Sorry. We've got the three next level cards, which again were quite rare. And then we've got all these all six Ultrasonics, uh, players that are pretty rapid. World Class, managed to get all nine of those including Ahmed Dozic, who I've managed to learn how to pronounce. And then we've got the Game Changers. And the one Game Changer I've only packed once is Anus Zauri of Burnley. Everyone else I've packed multiple times. Again, he was the last card I needed other than Golden Ballers, I think, for my collection. And then we've got the Dynamos there, the four Dynamos, the four Hot Shots, and the 1 in 50 packs Premier League Trophy. So, again, it looks... Uh, Pretty good, um, nice and complete. Now, I think I might have explained before, I've left a big gap here because I believe these are gonna be the star signing uh, cards that are gonna go in here, as you can see. I mean, that's based off the previous year's number of star signings. Um, I've then got a code card there and a coin card. I might put the Declan Rice, which you might have seen already on the channel by the time this video is out. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, but uh, if you've seen the Declan Rice limited edition or not, I don't know, but I could be putting that Declan Rice limited edition card there. I could be putting uh, the two, I'm assuming there's going to be two limited edition summer, in the summer signings uh, set um, or star signing set that we will uh, put there. I think, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see how it all pans out, but they could go there. Then on limited editions, again, you'll notice some progress since last time. And if you've been watching my recent videos, you'll notice I've packed a few big needs for the collection, but we've got them all there, including James, Deckard over Reed, Bell and Norwood, which we've packed in multi-pack openings with magazines recently. And uh, yeah, they weren't in the initial release, but they've been released into multi-packs subsequently. And uh, very pleased to uh, add those uh, four limited editions to my collection, which is fantastic. So we've got all of the limited editions available in regular packs now. Obviously, we've still got the Declan Rice to come in the blaster, blaster box, which we will show you in due course. But there we go. There is our... Uh, all the limited editions uh, there. We've also got Chan as well, who was part of those limited editions. And we've got Nunez, that was available in the first strike of the season. Guimaraes, which was available in the second, out should be out currently. You should be able to still find that. The same with the Semedo, probably in the in the kick magazine. Uh, the gap there is for Ayu, which is available in match in early December. Haaland, of course, in the kickoff multi packs. And then you'll notice we've been doing some work to get some signatures. So we've done some swapping for these. Uh, we picked up a few bargains as well, but we've got all of the signature limited edition cards there. So Cash, Jensen, Welbeck, Brownhill, James, which again is a tricky one to get. Anderson, Iwobi, Dickwood Overread, another tricky one to get. Uh, Van Dyke, Shaw, Johnson, Son, Bowen, and of course available exclusively in the kickoff multi-packs, Erling Haaland. We've then got all five uh, Legend limited editions. We've also managed to pick up the rest of the signatures 
limited editions there. You can see there in Hasselbank, Carragher, uh, Toure, Cantona and Ferdinand. I believe I only had Carragher and Toure in the last video. And then down there, we've got four excellent cards. Of course, you've seen us pack Douglas Louise. We've also managed to do some wheeling and dealing to get our hands on Gabriel Martinelli, Brian and Buomo and Harry Kane. And if I flip the page, the final card that we've got in our collection currently is the Kieran Trippier, which of course was available inside the countdown calendar. If you haven't seen that video already, do go and check it out on the channel. But we're still missing Casemiro, which will come in the final Strike It magazine of the year. We've also got there the uh, Ruben Diaz and uh, Alisson Excellence cards, which are to come in the final, or well, some online bundles, which I imagine will come around Black Friday time from Panini now. It's just been a while. We've been waiting on those a little while. So, yeah, it'd be good to, good to get our hands on those before, uh, before too long. So, yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. There we go. Looking absolutely brilliant. So that is our Drillin XL binder update. As you can see, we only need about four or five cards. And the next time you will see this collection, um, it will be when, uh, when we hopefully have got all the cards um, or next time you see the binder, be all the cards in the binder, and we can show a complete binder with those couple of missing limited editions, the star signings in the album, and of course those excellence and missing limited edition cards. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, it always helps. Um, let me know in the comments how your collection is going, it'd be really good to know. Always like to see what you guys still need and, and what you've got and that kind of thing. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until some guys, since a future openings, it's goodbye.